Hi, in this video, we look at how to use the matched geometry effect in Swift UI to create smooth and seamless transitions between two views. For example, in this project, I have this thumbnail image. There is also a full screen version of the same image. When we tap on the thumbnail image, we transition to the full screen image. But you can see here, the transition is not smooth. It uses fade in and fade out transition. We can use the matched geometry effect modifier to make this transition seamless. Before we do that, let's dive into Adobe XD to take a look at how this concept works visually. In XD, I have this blank artboard. By selecting the artboard, let's press R to bring the rectangle to and drag on the interface to draw a rectangle. By pressing V, we move to the selection tool. Let's move it to the center and go to the property inspector. Let's change the fill color to any color we want. Then round the corners. By selecting the rectangle, when we go to the layer list, you can see we are now in the artboard one and the name of the rectangle is rectangle one. Let's double click on the name and rename it to rect. Then we select the artboard and press shift and alt to make another copy. On the second artboard, we select the rectangle and change the size to take the entire screen of the phone. Let's select the rectangle on artboard 2 and rename to rec2. We are going to create a transition between the two artboards, artboard 1 and artboard 2. So we select the first rectangle and go to prototype mode. You can see this right arrow. By dragging it, we get the segue. So we have to move the segue to the second artboard and release the mouse. That creates a transition between the two views. So we have the source view as artboard 1 and the destination view is the artboard 2. We can also change the transition type, but let's leave it auto animate. Let's go to the artboard 2 and select the rectangle. We also get the arrow, so we drag the arrow and move the segue to artboard 1. We have the same transition type. So here, the source layer is artboard 2 and the destination layer is artboard 1. Let's move to artboard 1 and click on this button to preview what we have done. By tapping on the rectangle, we transition to the full screen version and vice versa. You can see this transition is not smooth at all. This is because the name of the rectangle on artboard 1 is different from the name of the rectangle on the artboard 2. In order to create a smooth transition between the two rectangles, we have to name them the same. So on artboard 1, we have the name of the rectangle as rect. By going to the artboard 2, we also need to change the name to rect. By selecting artboard 1, we can now click the play icon to preview. Now when we tap, we get this smooth transition between the two rectangles. Since the name of the rectangle on artboard 1 is the same as the name of the rectangle, on artboard 2. So here, Adobe XD created the transition by identifying the name of the rectangles. And as they are the same, we got a smooth transition. Let's move back to Xcode. Over here, we have to apply the same principle as we did in Adobe XD. So these are the steps. First, we make the two views identical and also attach the matched geometry effect modifier to each of the views. By making the views identical, 
we have to use a namespace. So here we create a namespace called zoom. Then we attach the matched geometry effect modifier to the first image, which is the thumbnail, and also attach the matched geometry effect modifier to the second image, which is the full screen version. The match geometry effect modifier takes an ID. Over here, I have named that as photo and also the namespace we created. When we look at the match geometry effect modifier on the full screen image, it also has the ID photo and the namespace. So over here, we tell Xcode to identify the images using the namespace. And Xcode is going to animate the difference between the two images by creating a smooth and seamless transition. Let's now look at what we have done. When I tap on the thumbnail version, you can see we get this smooth transition. And when I tap on the full screen version, we also transition smoothly to the thumbnail version. So this is how to use the matched geometry effect modifier to create smooth transition between two views here inside Swift UI. To do that, you have to make the two views identical and attach the matched geometry effect modifier to each of the views. Then we create a namespace. The namespace will be used to identify the two views. And by attaching the match geometry effect modifier to each of the views, we create a smooth and seamless transition as you see in this video.